So what I'm excited about for 2015 um, is that there's a possibility um, that new climate change targets are going to be set in a big climate negotiation meeting that's going to happen in December in Paris. Now these big meetings happen every year but the one in Paris is particularly important because there is an opportunity to set meaningful goals that are based on the science. Now if that happens um, that sets up a really interesting research agenda uh, for engineers, for physical scientists, for social scientists and those of us who engage in interdisciplinary research to actually see how we can make a radical shift in our energy systems to cut emissions um, in line with a two degree um, framing of climate change um, and a reasonable probability of that. Um, so that's all about rapidly rolling out low carbon energy supply, um, how we use energy, how we could use energy differently, how we could use less energy. Um, and so there's a bit, lots of research questions around that and, and it's really a focus on rapid transitions and accelerating change. If on the other hand there isn't a meaningful target set, if it's not based on the science, then it's a much more downbeat situation that we face. Um, we would focus much more then on the impacts of climate change and adaptation but it also quite sadly means that we haven't had the courage and the foresight to see that there are very many technologies and ways of doing things differently that are all around us already um, and that we've not got the, the, um, the courage to actually grasp those and make difficult decisions around energy system transitions and instead we will try to muddle along in the face of climate change and maybe that will work for the short term but certainly in the longer term it's going to be significantly more challenging and particularly for people in other parts of the world uh, where there isn't the infrastructure and the opportunity to adapt in the way that there may be in some of the richer countries at the moment.